JK. Hiya, I'm Joel. And this is Escape from Scorpion Island, where our three teams of adventurers are getting closer and closer to escaping this island. On the final day, only one team will get off the island because the race to escape is almost impossible. Their only hope is to collect these island torches. They hold a secret power, the power of light. Whichever team wins the most island torches will have the best chance of winning the final challenge because the adventurers will be in darkness. Where am I? Where do I need to go? The island torches are their only hope of escape. Last time, in the Eliminator round, Oliver and Tyson for Claw made a valiant effort to the top of the mast of the Shattered Skull. They found it difficult to get their balance and move along the cables. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, right hand. Jeremy and Assad proved stronger. We can do this. Look, we're nearly there. And seemed at ease. And ultimately, Venom got the furthest and won. <laughs> There's we won. Woo! Yeah! So now it's time for Double Jeopardy, where the challenge is much tougher and the stakes are raised for the adventurers. Team Sting will take on Team Venom as they battle it out for an island torch. But as ever, there's a lot at stake. The island has decreed that if Team Venom win today's challenge, they'll gain two island torches one of which they'll take from Team Sting. Venom won the Eliminator. Yep. You will be facing them in double jeopardy. Uh, it's time for you to make your decision which two team members you were going to choose. Remember, you can't pick Assad or Jeremy. I'm going to pick Harry and Imani. Harry's going to be picked again. Mm -hmm. Stevie, you've said your success rate is high. Yeah. Remember, you do have to risk an island torch. So if you win Double Jeopardy, Team Sting will walk away with seven island torches. If you lose, you walk away with just five. If Venom win, they will walk away with three island torches. If they lose, they walk back to camp with just one. So the pressure is on. Are you feeling confident? I'm definitely feeling so confident. It's going through the roof. <laughs> the moment has arrived. It's time for Double Jeopardy. The shark-infested waters off Scorpion Island have been visited by a deserted pirate ship, the Shattered Skull. And the adventurers are going aboard for another massive test of endurance and bravery. The teams will race up the rigging and then make their way across terrifyingly high cables. But this is Double Jeopardy, and so the island is making things so much tougher for Sting and Venom. This time, they don't just have to clamber out over the cables, they've got to take skulls and hook them onto a rope between them. Each team has five skulls and four and a half minutes to hang them into position. When the adventurers are up on the cables, the only thing between them and an epic fall is each other. Whichever team gets all five skulls in place quickest or has the most skulls hooked on when the time runs out, wins. Team Sting, Bradley and Ricky, are you ready? Ready! Three, two, one, go! And they're off. They've got such a long way to climb but they're really hauling themselves up that rigging. Bradley's made it up first, and Ricky needs to join him as soon as possible because the clock is ticking. Come on, mate. One, two, three. Just hook it on, yeah? It's Hold perfect. on. Hold on. Right, give me a hand, give me a hand. Don't let like that ask good. High up, high up, right, go. High up. Let's go, fast. Come on. Right. Let go of this hand. 
Good arm, yeah. That's the first skull on. It seemed easy, but each one they get on becomes another obstacle in their way as they go out again. Cool. There you go. Okay, come on. Let's go. Keep our hands high. No, high, high, high. This is quick work. Don't let go of the That's the second skull on. It's so tricky to keep balanced when you're putting the skull into position. It would be impossible solo, but Sting is showing real teamwork. Bradley and Ricky doing so well at the moment. Their communication is brilliant. Perfect. Right, hand. Hand. Hello. Hi. Hi. Right, you lean a bit. Whoa! Right, 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 high, high, high. A near fall for Sting there. Really there. Right. All right, we're right here. Right, we're gonna this hand off. Keep it high, right with it. Get it on! Oh, yes. And that's skull number three. Just two more to go. Really strong winds blow past you up in the rigging. It would be so easy to let a skull slip and plummet to the deck below. But so far, Sting seem rock solid. Two left, man. Oh, come on, man. Who's going to do this? That's it. Your hands locked on. The best. That's best. Under. Brilliant. Up. Let's get our hands high. If we're going high, I ain't, ain't going to fall. And this is where it gets really tricky. The middle of the cable is the wobbliest part. High, high, high. And that is going to make it so hard to balance. We're going to fall. Oh, they really need to steady themselves. No, they're down. Bad news for Sting. They couldn't keep balance, so Bradley toppled off. And that means it's back to the star for them. Let's go. Hi, hi. Right, hi. Let's pull our, pull our hands high. Come on. Uh, higher. Higher. It's easy, so. Hi, just give him out. Just give him out. We're not losing now. We're not losing now. Ricky is keeping his eyes on the prize, but there's a long way to go yet. Yes! Oh, but that's Bradley with the penultimate skull. The cables get wider apart as they get further away from the start, meaning the skulls get harder and harder to hook on. But Bradley just managed to reach. Took us it. Oh, OK. Oh, my hands. All right, come on, let's get out a bit. With less than 40 seconds to go, the pressure is really on Sting. Can they get that final skull in place? Okay, bend your arms. Ooh. They must be exhausted. They're looking wobbly, but they need to speed up. Oh, we're not falling now. Oh, no, we're not. So close. They're nearly there. Yes. Now, they've just got to hook it on. Let's hook that on. Yes! Yes! And that's it! With only Woo! seconds to spare, Sting have done it! It was awesome. It was hard and my legs were shaking. I was terrified, but now we've done it and it just feels brilliant. I think we did pretty well, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I think we went yeah. quite fast. Yeah. Oh. That's it, man. Oh. <laughs> now let's see what Venom can do. Up for them, it's Harry and Imani. Venom, are you ready? Ready! Three, two, one, go! And they're off. Come on, Harry. Come on, you're quick. Imani's making great time, but Harry seems to be struggling. Come on, Harry! She's up! Yeah? Finally, Harry's made it too. <sighs> At this point, Sting had already picked up their first skull and was starting their crossing. 
so Venom really needs to pick the pace up. Do you want you know where to, to attach it to? Yeah. Right. Other one. Nice and high. Ready? Right. right. That's it, Harry. I'll grab hold of that a sec and then I'll, I'll hook this on. I'll grab the next one. Yep, that's the first skull on. But this does not bode well for Venom. The first skull is the easiest to reach, and yet Imani still struggled to hug it on. You got it. Don't drop it. I'm not looking down. Yeah, don't look down. <laughs> well, Vertigo might be the least of their problems. Right, you ready? This is worryingly slow. Step and step. Right. Step. Steady. Help. Height. Height. Keep that arm straight. Keep that arm straight. Keep them straight. Keep them straight. Nice and straight. They're communicating well, but they do not look comfortable up there. No. I'm going to go in a minute. No, you're not. Keep your arms nice and straight. Lean back. Both. Wait, whoa. No. Oh! Oh, no, he's down! <laughs> oh, this is bad. In this challenge, you've got to work as a team. Try balancing on the cable on your own, and there's only one possible outcome. So they're right back to the start. Bend knees a bit. I'll pull you in a bit. I'm falling. Keep me in a bit. Three, two, Mark is like... This is not getting any better. And there's less than two minutes left on the clock. No, right, try to stand up straight. Oh, like, oh, like, like, nightmare! Harry's off again. And that means they've both got to go all the way back to the beginning. Time is running out. They're going to have to be quick here if they want to get those five skulls. Come on, Harry. We've got to do this for Benno. Come on, let's just go. Ah! Okay, you're ready. It's now or never for Venom. Three. Right, keep, keep your legs straight. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. Ah, oh, I'm oh, stuck. Oh, oh, no. Another fall. <laughs> Harry leans too far forward, sending himself into thin air and knocking Amani off too. Square one again. And with less than 30 seconds left, any comeback now would be miraculous. Oh my god, let's just go for it. Right, come on. Go, 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 go. Ah! Right, stay up, stay up. Stay up. Stay up. They are surely just playing on for dignity. Can they get at least one more skull on? Hey, I got this is keeping my balance. Hook up, hook up, quick! Yeah, it's there! Four, three, two, one, game over. <sighs> Failure for Venom. They must be devastated. I think we wasted a lot of time at the beginning just trying to get the hang of it um, and being scared of falling off, so, like, not taking that one step further. We were on it and we were fine at the beginning, but um, as we went along, the wires got wider, so you lost your balance more. Uh, which was quite hard and we kept like falling off, but we managed to get two, but I don't think we did too well. But. Well, it was an incredible challenge. We do only have one winner. We'll come to that in a second. First of all, Venom, Harry, what happened up there? Uh, at first we were a bit nervous, so we were taking it like slow and steady. But um, I think that was our disadvantage and then we kept falling off. But at the end, we were, when we were running out of time, we just decided to go for it and we got two. How difficult is it to balance up there? Because as we can see, the wind is, yeah. is a little bit hard as well. Yeah, it's really diff difficult to balance because as you're going out, it gets wider. So then it's like more, you have to balance more and it's hard. And how is your buddy? Yeah, she is really good. Imani, did you enjoy it? Uh, I enjoyed it, yeah. OK with the height? Um, I was all right with the height, but um, it was very far down. And how was Harry? Was he helping you? Was he talking you through it? Um, yeah, Harry was helping me. He was really good. And um, I think we just, like, helped each other um, get through it. If you could do it again, what would you do differently, Harry? Uh, I think 
because we've already done it once, I think we'd know a bit more of how to do it. So I think we'd just go for it a bit more and hopefully we'll get all five. So once again, Venom get through to double jeopardy. Unfortunately, they can't quite do it. Yeah. Are you disappointed? Yeah, very. What are you going to do? Not many challenges left. I know, it's quite hard because it's like, I'm, like, my teammates are always like winning the eliminator, but then I'm always in the double jeopardy that we lose. Imani, how do you think Venom can stop this losing streak? I'm not quite sure. I think it um, all rests on um, other teams' tactics and how they decide and how they decide to play the game. So Venom, you will return to camp with only one Island Torch not winning this challenge. However, Sting victorious again. Woo! The dream team back in action? Yeah. Uh, definitely. We've done every challenge we've done together. We seem to have done really well and we've just done it again, so yeah. really but, proud. Um, the thing is, uh, at the start of Scorpion Island, it was about a, w a week into it. And we didn't, we started off like a really, not a low down team, but we didn't have many torches as Claw or Venom. And we thought, oh no, this is the end for us. But obviously we've come back and got seven torches. So. You've worked hard to get this far. Yeah. So you do gain another Island Torch, which is great news. So you will return to camp with seven Island Torches. Yep. Way in the lead. Do you want that island torch? Oh, most yeah. definitely. There's the island torch that you've won. Thank you. And boys, here's the torch that you risked. Congratulations. Well done. The teams leave the shattered skull and make their way back to Scorpion Island. It's time for the captains of Sting, Claw and Venom to do the captain's task. Who will it be? Ailey? Stevie? Millie. It's Millie. So what's the task? Spell seven to win. <laughs> Millie has ten chances to spell at least seven words without seeing them as Ailey reads them out. Pump. C A M P. Oh, yeah. First one, straight off. Island. I-S-L-A-N-D. Two right, well done. Skip. Remember, if she loses, Sting and Claw get the luxuries instead. E escape. Number three in the bag. Scorpion. S-C-O-R. I-O-N. She gets the fourth one right. M-Y-S-T-E-R-Y. She's not showing any signs of pressure. This is a long word. Take your time. Competition. C-O-M-P-E-T. I-T-I-O-N. Yeah. Six right, and she only needs one more to win for Venom. S-T-R-A-G-Y. Yeah. Oh, she got it wrong. The pressure's on now. R-I-V. A-L-R-Y. She's done it. It's luxury time for Venom. Three, two, one. Oh, cool. Face paint. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Face paint. Woo! Oh, yeah. Good job. Oh, my God. I'm getting a love artist. 
that one's a different. Oh no! <laughs> in a different place Dude. to that one. Looking gorgeous. Oh yeah. That looks so awesome. <laughs> it looks like amazing. How did the other teams feel about Venom not sharing their face paints? Business to attend to. Hey! Can you can we have some? Can we have some? We decided as a team. That's yeah, not very nice. Honey, that because you were teasing That's us. That's not very nice. You were teasing us. I'll I'll shoot you. Well, Stop it! <laughs> Night falls on Scorpion Island. At the moment, Team Sting are in the lead with seven island torches. Team Claw have five. And Team Venom only have one torch. But the next challenge is prepared. The drums echo over the island. All three teams are being called to the island fire. Is everyone ready to find out what the next challenge is? Yeah. yeah. I think we've been here before. Sting, you won the challenge, so therefore you bypass the eliminator and go straight through to double jeopardy. Again. <coughs> so once again, it's Team Claw facing Venom in the next challenge. Let's find out what it is. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> That's oh my day. Brilliant. So you've just seen the name of the challenge. What is it? Daredevil, Daredevil Drop. Drop. Daredevil Drop. Not a good response there from all three team captains. Stevie. It's going to be something like what we did today, going across something, but I have a feeling there's going to be like trip steps or something that will make you fall, so you have to check, like, check in front of you and you have to like uh, go around and grab as many skulls as possible and there might be like drops that's going to be really high up. Millie, daredevil drop. Maybe, this is kind of taking a spin on Stevie's idea, maybe like you've got a big square and there are loads of like secret trap doors and you've got to go around and like it's kind of puzzle and you've got to get lots of skulls and stuff but like if you step in the wrong one then you fall and maybe another member of your team's got to go or something like that. Okay, so it's high, you could fall and it's something to do with skulls. <laughs> well talk to your teammates, see what you think it may be. So Daredevil Drop, what's it all about? Well Stevie thinks it's something to do with ladders and Millie thinks it's something to do with trapdoors. It's nothing to do with ladders and nothing to do with trapdoors. For you watching at home right now, this is what Daredevil Drop actually is. A hot air balloon has crashed into a set of cables high above Thunder River. To free it and its cargo, the adventurers must race back and forth across the gorge on precarious handbikes. Just look at that drop. This is not a challenge for the faint-hearted. Okay, teams, gather around the island fire again. So the next challenge is called Daredevil Drop. Sting, you won the challenge today, which means once again, you bypass the eliminator. So it's Claw versus Venom. Claw, step up to the island fire and place your hands on the island palms. The flame has faded under three of Team Claw's handprints, but two are smouldering brighter than ever. These are the ones selected to play by the island. Playing Daredevil Drop, the next challenge on Scorpion Island will be Ailey and Jemima. Ailey? Ailey. Um, well, me and Jemima haven't worked together on a team yet, I don't think, have we? No, we haven't worked together, so it'll be interesting to see if we're a good team. How'd you get on in the camp? Yeah, all right. Pretty good friends. Pretty good friends. Yeah, well, good, yeah. good friends then. Good friends. Really good friends. But how are you going to work as a team, do you reckon, Jemima? Um, yeah, well, it sounds like a really good challenge to do, so I think we nearly will work as a good team. 
Mm. Hope for the best. Go, okay, Cole, you may step down. Team Venom, step up to the Isle of Fire, place your hands on the Isle of Palm, and let's find out who's playing. Playing for Team Venom will be Millie and Tani. Millie, yeah. you said earlier that you haven't won many challenges. No, this is the this is like the second challenge I've done in Venom, and I'm really pleased I'm doing it with Tani because we're really good friends. Okay, Tani, you've done all right in the challenges. Yeah, yeah. Really good, in fact. But you just can't get past Double Jeopardy. <laughs> no. Why is the next challenge going to be different? I have no idea what the challenge is, so I don't know. So until you see it, you don't know. But remember, island torches are really important. Mm. We're going to try our best. And you've never worked together before? No. Nope. We've so. always been against. OK. You may step down from the island fire. <laughs> so to recap, tomorrow in the Eliminator, it will be Claw taking on Venom. So you've got lots to talk about. Remember, there is only one island torch left to play for. And you've also got to remember how important they are in the final race to escape. So really got to put in 100% tomorrow, yeah? yeah? Yeah. All right, so go back to your camps, discuss it, and have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sting now have seven island torches. Claw have five. Venom, they still only have one. And there is only one island torch left to win. Can Venom possibly claim it? There's only one way to find out. Join us next time as we try to escape from Scorpion Island. <laughs>